my reality, when I die, I want people to be like, she was a legend at that head shit. And I want my daughter to be like, my mother was that on the head tip, period. That was the light of her life. That was probably the most pivotal moment in her life. Raquel Harrison has fond memories of her 21-year-old daughter who accomplished so much. A mother of one, a salon owner, and beautician who was well on her way. She wanted to be known as a legend for doing hair, one of the legends. So I think she did that. Harrison was killed Saturday around 6 p.m. when someone came into her salon and shot her in the head. Her mother told me over the phone everyone else in the salon scattered and the baby was left alone. And that's the thing that make me the maddest, right? How y'all gonna leave my granddaughter in there by herself? They really scattered and left my granddaughter in there. It was five people in there. Ain't nobody see nothing. How? How? I definitely feel angry. I'm confused because they were all women. I just, I don't understand for real. You know, again, to me, this touches home because you hear how these cases keep going unsolved and someone walked into a establishment, a business, where there's several customers in this business and this young woman was murdered. No one sees anything. A baby's left inside. Now, for me, I'm thinking to myself, with all of these cameras that we have throughout the city on the lampposts and all these different places, the camera didn't pick up anything? You're telling me with all of the technology that has been invested in money into Baltimore that no one sees anything? Then this lets me know why we keep having 300 plus murders year after year after year and it's unacceptable for 67% of those murders to go unsolved. I mean, it amazes me how when it comes to drug dealers, we will do any and everything to put them in prison, falsify evidence, any and everything. But when it comes to solving murders, it's almost like... And I had somebody say, why you won't open up nothing in Woodlawn? Why you won't open up your business in Kingston and give back to the community? What, what, what am I supposed to do? Go and open up a business in my community just to get robbed and shot? Just like the young lady opened up a beauty shop in her community in Baltimore? A beautiful beauty shop and she's dead now? Ma, stop being a crybaby. I'm a dead cute ma. Destiny was my firstborn. She was born April the 16th, 1998, 6.27 p.m. at night. Uh, <laughs> when she came, <laughs> I was just going through a breakup and I just was, said to her, in my belly, Destiny, I can't wait till you get here. I need you. And I had my baby that same night. She was always there for me. And to see her become a mom, and for her to go before me, I never thought something like this would happen. It's crazy. Ever and ever, 
And I want to say that I'm glad to have been in her life. I'm glad that God blessed us with her presence, you know, her works, her her courage, her enthusiasm, her her ability to be adventurous. And um, I hope that she continues to live on in our hearts and in our minds. And I love you. You know, every birthday I'm going to pop a bottle for you like I've been doing. And I can't wait to see you again. I love you, Dust. Great, beautiful Dustiny Harrison. My little baby, she was such a gem. She loved her family. She loved her mom. She imitated her mom to a fact. Like, she she, she gave us hope. Even me at 40 years old, Destiny, you gave me hope. I will never forget that. I met Des in 2011 or 2012. I met her through her mother, Raquel. Um, I had a boutique at the time, and Raquel used to shop with me a lot, but she would buy multiple pieces of the same item like if it was a skirt she had about two or three of them and um she wound up telling me that she had daughters i needed an intern at a time and she recommended Des, and Des came and i loved her i loved her um she was so helpful she was so motivated ambitious she was great and from there we built our own relationship outside of business and everything um years to come we always supported each other and then she was pregnant and Raquel called and asked me if I could be Dream's godmother and of course I said yes. So I'm Dream's godmother and um, Destiny just was always, she was always my little baby. I always remember her to just be so sweet and calm. I didn't know the other side of Des, her as she got older. Um, she always just would play so innocent around me, um, even with her having Dream. Uh, it just was like, she just was a breath, a breath of fresh air and to see somebody so young and be so ambitious, it was a blessing. It was a blessing to know her. Um, I miss her so much and I really, really, really value my relationship with my goddaughter. Um, Des, we miss you. Um, I never saw a bad side of Destiny. I always saw her smiling. I always saw her calm. I always saw her happy, laughing. The most I did see was her popping her shit on Instagram. And she could. She deserved to because she was the youngest in charge. Um, she did everything that she said she was going to do. And I was extremely proud of her. She was always very driven, always very motivated always just on top of her game and i love that for her um i love her and raquel's relationship i loved how much raquel poured into her and i miss her so much um if you were blessed to know destiny you were blessed because she was a blessing i just want to say something um about destiny um who i had the pleasure of teaching um at Mergenthaler High School. I was her cosmetology teacher um, and just was so sad to hear um, about our sweet angel. Um, she was such a blessing and a, a treasure to work with. Um, she was always very diligent. Um, she had the best attitude. Um, I'll never forget the little nickname she gave me, Miss Roro with the fro fro. Um, you know, just always had that great attitude and that way about her. She was very um, passionate about the industry. Um, and, you know, she, she made that come to life and she made it a reality. And I saw her, you know, grow, um, opening one, moving from salons to um, salon ownership. So just want to send her some healing prayers and blessings and definitely some healing prayers and blessings and love to the family i am aunt squeak if everybody you know that's what she knows aunt squeak it's all i hear aunt squeak aunt squeak aunt squeak you know destiny was always the. she was just amazing amazing she knew what she wanted she was a go-getter and once she put her mind to it it was a wrap I would describe Destiny's personality as fun, loving, friendly, protective. She was very protective over people that she loved. Um, smart, creative, innovative. Like any idea she had was always well executed, thought out, made her some money. Like her main concern was 
making sure that her daughter had the best life that she could provide her with everything that she needed, wanted. Like, that was her main focus. Uh, talk about destiny, and I'm uh, doing my client, hey, whatever. And we was talking about how she, um, how she started doing hair at my shop. And she was mad because I made her play booth rent, right? I was trying to teach her, everybody got paid their own way in business and a personal life. And she learned that, she learned that quickly. That's me was spoiled. <laughs> she was spoiled to death. And anything she wanted, she got. I used to go to her school in the middle of the day and bring her gifts, like MC bags, and MCM bags, whatever she wanted. And I would bring it to her in school because I could not contain the excitement of seeing her so happy and giving it to her. That was my girl. So. She's still my girl. I hate when people be like, she was, she was. Or people be like, my condolences or sorry for your loss. And people really don't understand, but I be like, I ain't lose nothing. Let me explain that. I ain't lose my daughter, I can never lose my daughter. She always gonna be mine, she always gonna be with me. And I'm gonna make sure that she had justice. Like before she died, before she died, there was this one girl giving her hell. It was like a situation, right, where um, some girl that she was an acquaintance with, the girl used to come help her at her shop. They was becoming friends and everything, everything. The girl wind up side messing with her baby father, right? Then so that's nothing. So that's just stop dealing with her. She stopped dealing with her. Um, but the baby father would still come mess with Destiny. So I guess the girl started liking, just started liking Tay or something. I don't know. So anytime Tay was with Destiny. Destiny had a problem. The girl was sending people in the shop to take pictures of Destiny, little dumb stuff. Flatting her tires, little stupid stuff. Just know, I'm not letting that go. And anybody that know anything about me, know how much I love my daughter. Know how I'm I'm the most mature, immature person you want me. I will fight a kid for my daughter. I will fight whoever. Don't matter for my kid. So, I'm gonna get short. Okay? I'm gonna get her. What's her name? Just so had the girl had the same name as my daughter. How is that? Destiny. She Destiny. I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her. And I swear that's that. Destiny, Destiny, Destiny. One thing about my girl Destiny, she was always different. I'm talking about since day one. I'm talking about since back in 2012 when we first got into high school. Like, she was one of the first girls I know that was walking around with, like, you know, the bright color hair, her hair, you know, face full of makeup. Like, she always had a vision for herself. It was always there for her. Like, she was definitely always a sweet girl, you know, like. One thing about Destiny, you know, she never needed, like, a squad of friends. Like, if Destiny got into anything, if Destiny had to fight anybody, you know, her mother and her sister was always there. Like, I'll never forget one time we was, she was fighting in school. And, um, her mother literally, like, came up to school, like, in the school to, like, you know, help her fight this one girl. Like, you know, her mother, of course, didn't fight the girl for whatever the case may be. But she really came up there to make sure that Destiny was good. Like, Destiny never needed a whole bunch of friends, like... Like who really fucking with that? Get all your shit and put shit on the table. Go get a job, you bitches be lazy. Ain't talking about drugs, but business is blazing. After I'm done, hit the club with hate. You really my son, I'ma shit on you, baby. Ain't wanna do it, but I feel like you made me. Wanna get rich, all you get is a maybe. Really running with the woman who raised me. Come and get slayed, I'm up in a trap. 24 hours.
ain't taking a nap. Feeling betrayed, put you on a map. Put that's on the beat, so you know I'm a zap. That's on the beat, so you know I'm a zap. Put that's on the beat, so you know I'm a zap. That's on the beat, so you know I'm a zap. Put that's on the beat, so you know I'm a zap. The Destiny Harrison Dream Scholarship so that other young women can follow in her footsteps. In this moment of pain, we seek to create opportunity for others that are coming up. Destiny will be remembered through a scholarship fund called Destiny's Dream. Organizers hope to raise $20,000. This will help pay fees and expenses at the cosmetology program at Mervo. Destiny graduated from Mervo in 2016. Five people will be awarded 1,000 each to cover licensing fees, kits, and uniforms. Destiny had a passion of her own. She, she knew what she wanted to do, and it was my job to help her do it. Parents, it's your job to help your kids become what they want to become. It's, it's our job. Organizers are counting on donations from business, civic groups, and the public. They will write one-page essays explaining why they are just as passionate and hungry for um, their dreams to come true as Destiny did. David Collins, WBAL TV 11 News. Destiny's legacy will be to help young women grow into leaders and entrepreneurs. To donate, go to HealingCityBaltimore.com and click on Our Effort. Hey, Jeremy. Talk to me. Can somebody tell me where Brooklyn Hearts go? Cause my shit is lingering. It don't get no easier, just get harder. I miss you, Dust. Othello on the beat. We do all this and one on the way. I try not to relive that call I got that day. While leave on my line, he sound kind of worried. Ain't calling track and dice, so I don't like what I'm hearing. I dialed a jack, ain't got no answer. Fear setting, that shit made me nervous. Frantic, when I made some calls. I gotta find my dad, she ain't answering at all. Talk to me, I know that you can. I know you're not gonna leave your first best friend. Talk to me. I know that you can. I know you're not gonna leave your that first best friend. Damn. Mommy call my phone back to back. Go to the shop and check on that. My heart dry quick. My heart in pain. I'm thinking that you better be okay. I'm running, I'm running, red and blue. Man, this shit can't happen to you. I'm looking, I'm looking. Dream okay. Finally found out. I start breathing again. My heart so cold. My mind so numb. My mind so numb. My mind so numb. Yeah. Talk to me, I know that you can I know you're not gonna leave your first best friend Talk to me, I know that you can I know you're not gonna leave your first best friend Damn. My oldest, my first born daughter Popped up a murder ink, this shit out of order I hopped on a flight, that you see what's wrong Hoping when I land, we can sing our song Thinking I might gotta fight a bitch Or even gotta manifest Wasn't expecting you to be gone wasn't expecting to have to Hello. write this song I miss my daughter, you never know the pain People trying to assassinate my cry to the same But I wasn't there, and show no fear They wanna see me cry and be in despair Talk to me, I know that you can I know you're not gonna leave your first best friend Talk to me, I know that you can I know you're not gonna leave your first best friend Everybody's a suspect, fuck being proven guilty I can't believe a nigga could be so filthy To take a life that was all sincere to take dreams, mommy, and just not care. I want you to know I'm not letting it go. Revenge, my daughter, they all gotta go. I damaged, I am proven by sin. Now you know how I feel by the tip of my pen. Talk to me, I know that you can. I know you're not gonna leave your first best friend. Talk to me, I know that you can.
that you can I know you're not gonna leave your first best friend We used to fuss all the time, we used to get into it Hella times that I miss a man that I blew up I keep a ratchet, cause niggas made it happen The last thing a nigga thought was this was going to happen I remember smoking, eating crabs, we was laughing Talking about some old shit, reminiscing past him You the type of girl to tell a nigga about his habits I ain't stopping shit, you the type to make it happen Late night phone calls, you know that I was asking I don't like love, but your love, I got passion I admit that I was wrong, I admit that I was dragging But now that you gone, I admit that I was capping Miss walking in the house like, baby, how you feel? You had a lawn, did your feet hurt, you want to chill? I look in the eyes, she look back, I know it's real It be the ones close that don't know how you feel Everything for real Talk to me, I know that you can I know you're not gonna leave your first best friend Talk to me I know that you can, I know you're not gonna leave your, your first, first best friend, friend. damn. Talk to me, I know that you can, I know you're not gonna leave your first best friend. My daughter was a big influence on my life. I needed her. I did, and I wanted her all so bad. Um, I came from a lot of turmoil growing up, you know. I was with my grandmother, with my mom. Some false homes, some good homes. You know, everywhere for real. And I needed something stable, something permanent. You know, for me, that was her. Something stable, something permanent. So. I was in this group home called Florence Crittenton Home for Girls, where ironically, my mother was pregnant with me. Um, and I found out I was pregnant with Dustin. My first pregnancy, I had miscarried. So her coming after that, she was a rainbow baby. Yeah. I could never have asked for anything more better. She was so perfect. Destiny wasn't a cry baby. She was just a good baby. She was a good baby. Her smile, her big eyes. She looked a lot like Dream. Um, you know, Dream does now. Dream really got her whole face. She just looked like um, she favors her dad though. So. I just don't like. I got crucified a lot when Destiny passed. People were saying, oh, she not showing no emotion. Or um, we think she set her daughter up to be murdered. And it's all, this is her fault. Like, I ain't know what to do with that. And I seen it. I kind of felt it. But... Not really. Like, I don't remember the whole family. I don't remember who's there. I don't know. Like, I don't remember none of that. Like, I remember when I see pictures and I can, like, try to think back. It was just so much going on. And I wanted to stay in a good spirit. Because I didn't want Destiny to be sad. And I knew if everybody was crying and sad and upset, she would be sad. So I didn't want her to be sad that she had to go. And more importantly, whoever did that to her, I didn't want them to have the satisfaction of seeing me or seeing anybody that love her down. Whoever, that like, he ain't deserve that. He ain't deserve to see none of that from me, none of my emotions. But because I didn't show emotion, people like people were crazy people. Like I don't, I killed my daughter. I, like what? 
so many stories going around. So many stories that she was a drug dealer. She got involved in drugs, like gangs. Like it was so much going on. Don't nobody like just people wanting to just put out a bunch of stuff. Why? Why? She ain't. Her mother ain't cry. That that's weird. Yeah, like y'all don't know what I did. Just say y'all ain't seen me cry. Some people did. Some people didn't. I just, I need to protect Destiny. Because I knew she was sad. Nobody. Nobody will know how I feel. Nobody will understand anyway if I showed emotion. Nobody would know. People, all the dishes going to rub you on your back. And like people run me on my back, touching me, giving me hugs. Like, don't fucking touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I just. I just don't like. When I think about it. I know she's gone. But in my mind, I just feel like she wouldn't. Like she wouldn't do that to me. She wouldn't do that to Dream. Like she wouldn't leave. She wouldn't. And I just, and if she leave, I know she's gonna find her way back. I just, I know she's gonna find her way back. This cannot be permanent. Like this cannot have happened. I just, I can't connect with it. Like I do, I don't believe it. When I see her face, I see her so vividly. When I hear her call my name, it just sounds like she's right there in the room with me. The first time I heard her was the night that she died. I was about to get in her bed, and she said, Mom. As far as the investigation goes, um, it has not been any movement. It has not been any arrests. The detective handling the case has video footage that he refuses to let me see. He will not let me know how many times my daughter was shot, where she was shot. Um, he won't let me in. He won't let me in on any of that information. He says because it'll um, damage his case. But at this point, what case? What case? Thank you, baby. You, you make me smile when I'm dead. I love mommy. I love you. Mm. Are you sad? No. No? No. You happy? Yes. Why are you happy? She, I, I'm happy with mommy. Oh. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> Mwah. I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this just make mommy happy day today, huh? Mm. You so cute. Mm. How you get so cute? Because I'm your best. Huh? You're my best, you my best friend. Yeah. <gasps> yes. Dream, 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 dream. Dream, 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 whenever I want you, all I have to do is dream. Dream, 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 dream. Dream, dream, dream. I love you. Best friend? Yes. Yeah. yeah. She ain't even been done for it. Like, no woman, no kids. No woman, no kids. No woman, no kids. Like, how many times that I keep saying is no woman, no kids? Like, what happened to that? Like, since when we went back on our word and stopped protecting our women and our kids, there should be no reason why my sister should have been in that predicament. It should have been no reason why no one was there with her to help her. But, hey, they say uh, stuff happened for a reason. I don't believe that. This happened for no reason. Only only because of jealousy. 
only because of jealousy and just hatred. Like, like y'all hate on my sister so bad, so much that like y'all took her life. Destiny Harrison murder is still unsolved. Her daughter is now three and reside with her grandmother. She continues to thrive and the Destiny Harrison Scholarship is still building every day.